I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for December 2nd, 2022. Axios reports, record-breaking early voting in Georgia Senate runoff. Georgia has set record-breaking early vote turnout ahead of its December 6th runoff between incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican Herschel Walker. While the state's general election has three weeks of early voting, the four-week runoff has just one week. As of Tuesday evening, more than 800,000 Georgians had voted in the runoff, which will define whether Democrats expand their Senate majority with a pivotal additional seat or whether the 50-50 majority will continue for the remainder of President Biden's term. Warnock and Democratic groups won a battle last week over the legality of an extra day of early voting on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Breitbart News reports, Republican Senator Mike Braun to run for Indiana governor, making an open Senate seat in 2024. Republican Senator Mike Braun filed paperwork on Tuesday to run for Indiana governor in 2024 to replace Governor Eric Holcomb, a Republican who is term limited, creating an open Senate seat in the next election. Braun confirmed to Politico that the paperwork was filed with the Indiana Secretary of State's office on Tuesday. Politico also noted that Braun, a former executive of a distribution company, has been irritated at the speed it takes for anything to be done in the Senate. Hoosier State Republicans close to Braun claimed he is a better fit for an executive role. And finally, The Daily Wire reports, Fox News Democrat analyst Juan Williams names DeSantis as 2022's top U.S. political player. He scares me. Analyst Juan Williams named Governor Ron DeSantis as America's most influential political player in 2022, despite being terrified of him. Williams highlighted the enormous impact DeSantis had this year, ranging from dominating the culture war in Florida to getting the Republican Party more seats in the U.S. House of Representatives by redrawing Florida's congressional districts himself, to turning the state of Florida from purple to a deep red state. Williams wrote in an op-ed for The Hill, quote, The one politician who stands out at year's end is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. His commanding 19-point re-election victory, as well as his success in attracting mega-donors like Ken Griffin, Steve Ross, and Steve Schwartzman ahead of a possible 2024 presidential campaign, make him this past year's big GOP winner. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for December 2nd, 2022. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.